with it in the hood with it welcome back to the collective clips where you already know we get it in right but before we get it in let's hit that like and subscribe button Ding. put your notification bell on all so that way you're directed in the direction of the dope content i am kicking and i highly appreciate all the support man we're going up on this channel and it's all because of you and for that i can say thank you very much man i'm greatly appreciative and even more so than that i'm very humbled man it's a great experience let's journey together there is a, a wizard should I save her? She love wants to be saved, right? She definitely wants to be saved. My cousin saved her. Primo said, whopping Primo. Did I well got her or I saved her? You saved and well got her all at the same time, right? Milkshake. Because her milkshake brings all North Angels to the yard and they're like much better than yours. They're like much better. <laughs> you know what I mean? Straight up. Pedazos like Wes Watson. Straight up out of the asshole. You know, Chique. I said Chique. You already know what it is. Were you from Chique's? Charlie, I'm from Chique, right? So trip out on this. I'm going to tell you guys, this is episode five, man, season two. And as you've seen, I don't know if you watched the short, but I am working on the animated series. We're getting it together slowly but surely. So be on the lookout for that. That will be coming soon. And I appreciate all the support. I know people by popular demand want an animated series. You got the Simpsons. You got to have the Norteñoisms. And that's just what it is, man. I got you guys covered like a state blanket, itchy but warm. We're going to make it happen. You know, first draw, second draw. And fourth draw. Never say three. Because I don't like three. I don't like three. <laughs> right? My cousin's a trip. So anyways, I needed a party spot. I had no party spot. See, the way my party spot worked was I didn't have one. My baby's mom shut that shit down before I could get my party on. Plus, I don't know about you, but you can't really parlay. Hey, put a party. You can't do that when you have a baby's mom. Because at the same time, in the meantime, in between time, she might like to get that sexual healing like fucking Marvin Gaye. And do her thing, and then that just causes conflict, and next thing you know, we're on the outsides looking in. Especially me. So, I needed a spot to kick it, because I had a couple homeboys coming from Oakland. I had a homeboy that's from my barrio that had family coming from Oakland, so it was going to be a blackout, right? There was definitely going to be some Africanos in the building, but they were cool people. I had kicked it with them before. In fact, I've told the story in the past how we met up at Mount Mike's Pizza, and I, we almost had to go Mountain Man Mike on them. Um... It was, the, the Africanos were tripping. There was like, to brother, to what degree of pizza place is this? There's a lot of essays here, right? And my primo was like, in this, in this, right? He was tripping. Well, guy, um, he definitely scared him back to Oakland, but they were coming back. And my homeboy was like, hey, bro, let's kick it. Let's party. So at first I was like, yeah, fuck that. Bring everyone home. Invite all your family. They could all come to my pad. And then my baby's mom shut that shop down quick. So I had nowhere else to go. Didn't have the type of funds. Uh, to get a hotel room because we used to be old school man we used to rent a fucking uh, a hotel or a motel room at fucking the uh, the red lion in molesto oh everyone knows there's been so much crank smoked in that place it just reeks off the when you walk in there you you don't you either fucking look out the wind you know what i mean you know what it is you be up that's real talk red lion stand up so anyways i call my tia's house hey primo what been Hey, let me talk to your head for. What, you don't love me no more? Why you treat me so bad? I don't know why, baby. All right, let me see what she's doing. She's in there with, there's like, there's like three paisas in there. Let me see what's happening. What do you want, fuck face? I can hear her already, right? Tell him, call my phone. I don't know why he calls your phone, son of a bitch. Well, mom, it's because you, I didn't pay your bill because your phone. You get the social security check, son of a bitch. Wait up. Hey, Lupe, grab the phone for me. My nephew's going to call, right? So I called my tia's phone. Hey, what's up, tia? What do you want, fuck face number two? I said, hey, uh, trip out. Is there any way possibly that me and a few of the homies can come <clears throat> like party at your house? Oh, now you need me. Now you need me. But like my fucking stupid son said, why you train me so bad? I don't know why. You know what I mean? I said, no, hey, hey, tia. Uh, you know what I mean? I'll kick in and she will clean up. I'll go over there and I'll have Sheila clean up. That fat, lazy fucking linebacker doesn't... Hey, you know what, mijo? You need to come over here and kick her ass all around this place because that bitch, I'm telling you right now, between her and Burger King and my stupid son, I don't know which one I want to get rid of first. I'll keep the Burger King, but the bitch got to go. I was like, hey, I'll, I'll go over there, tia. So I slid over there. My primo's already waiting for me. This motherfucker... Hey, I decided I was going to go stop at the taco truck. I was going to eat before I got there because... I just wanted to do me. You know, you never get that where you're going to go show up to somewhere, but you want to eat. You want to do your own thing before you get there because I don't want to treat all these motherfuckers. I don't have the money, right? So as I pull up, my primo's waiting like this on the porch. 
What pinholes? I've been here for like four hours. I mean, like, it's only been three hours. We don't say that. Wait, guy. Hey, yo, uh, watch out. What happened? We're going to party or what? I said, yeah, hey, tell your fat chick clean the house. He's like, it's already clean. Come on, look, watch out. Come in, right? I went in that motherfucker, and to what degree of clean, of cleanliness, this guy could identify with? First of all, get your ass in the shower before you even say the word clean, right? This motherfucker's Mongolian was so matted. He didn't have a Mongolian. He had one dreadlock. It looked like a, as soon as I walked in, bad boys, bad boy, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Well, I come in for you, right? He had a straight up dreadlock run off the back of his head. I was like, primo, that shit's all matted. I swear there's cucarachas in it. There ain't no fucking cucarachas in my shit. What happened? Look at my shit. My shit's on lean. I lean back. I lean back. Sheila! What? Come on, do my fucking Mongolian. It's all fucked up. I can't, I can't do it. You put too many rubber bands in it, right? So she doesn't do any shit, and I could have swore the caspa that fell out of his head looked like straight cocaine when it fell on the table. Just poof, made a motherfucker want to line it up. I ain't even gonna lie. As soon as I seen all the caspa that fell, I started rolling dollar bills. It was weird, right? Anyways, I was having flashbacks. So, of course, short, short ass fucking Sheila's mobbing around there. Oh, I didn't know you were coming. Yeah? Is that why your fucking pussy lip is hanging out of the side of your pants? I, well, I didn't know. Is it? Is it? She's looking at it, is it? Looking at me in the eyes. I'm looking at her, she's looking at me. I'm looking at her pussy lip. Her pussy lip is looking back at me and it's it's rather appealing, but at the same time, she needs to shave. So anyways, I'm like, hey, Sheila, this is what's gonna happen. I'm bringing all kinds of homies over here. You need to clean up and shit. She was like, oh, you're bringing homies? As soon as I said the word homies, uh, my homies, uh, my, my homies. She was in that motherfucker vacuuming. My homeboy, over the hole. My homeboys, right? Roaches scattering. Roaches are looking, looking at us like, Whopping, right? Like, what, what are you guys doing? You fucking, this is our body, you say, right? The ro I'm telling you, sometimes you have to compromise with the roaches in that house. You have to make, you have to cut deals like, hey, look, I'm going to throw some bread in the corner. You motherfuckers run that way, okay? Because we're going to be over here. I'm telling you, you have to cut side deals with the roaches. The roaches own that house. They're just occupying it. But the roaches are really the owners, you know? The roaches, hey, this is our fucking body, you say? They're down. I mean, I'm talking about gangbanging ass roaches. Drive by, he told mine. Hang gliding off Doritos. Now look. So fuck, she's in there cleaning up. She keeps bending over, showing her ass as she's mopping, right? And I'm not gonna lie. There was a there was that one look in my eye that I had when I just kind of slid my look, and I could have swore one of her pieces of her fallopian tube fell out the back of her shorts. It just was what it was. My primo's there the whole time. What is she look? He thinks he's a shot car. I'm the, I'm the fucking tier security right here. Hey, what? Hey, watch up. Get over there in the corner where all the roaches are at. Maybe you can suck those motherfuckers up. She was like, I like sucking things up. He said, no, my, hey. She get, hey, last night, primo, we remixed it. She gave me the Mongolian uppercut. Sergio, I just fucking put my Mongolian over her eyes and she was, blah, 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 blah. it was crazy, primo. Yeah, yeah, we were bumping big tongue because the yak life got me like this. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. They're really doing some greasy things back there. My dear comes out smoking a cigarette. I started smoking again, mijo. <sighs> Sheila, put the fucking fan on, bitch. I'm going to catch cancer over here. <sighs> She's like, what are you? So who's coming? And I said, hey, just a whole, whole bunch of my homeboys from the water. And, 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 and you know, I'm saying some of their family from Oakland. Did you say Oakland, mijo? Calm down, Sheila. Turn the fucking vacuum off, fat girl. To what degree of negro are you going to have at my house? Light-skinned ones or just, 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 you know, ones that look like Bernie Mac? I said, I don't know. You know, he has some primo. They're cool, though. Don't trip. These are good Africano people, man. Yeah. Well, I haven't met one yet. Right? She's smoking. She's like, I don't know. I mean, if they do have chorizo that just swings like this. Sure, they swing my way. Or I'm like, yeah, they do. Tia. But look, that's on you. Whatever you choose to do. Well, I don't know. I'm going to have to kick my boyfriends out. Boyfriends? Yeah. Right now, I'm on a th they call me the three peak. You know what I'm saying? I'm like the Lakers. I'm going for three. Uh-huh, fuck it, I might go to Jordan and do six. I'm like, oh shit. So my tia's making sure that she's cleaning right. Get the fabuloso, bitch, don't be lazy. Pick it up, pick it up. And the pledge. Uh-huh, pledge the TV. Just uh, the, don't spray right there around the crack because it might seep in and then the roaches are gonna fucking pick their head out and be all pissed. Have some respect, bitch, right? So anyways, we're getting this house together. So I call my boy and it, looked, it actually looked decent. Now the outside, it was leaking and like I said, you can look through bull bullet holes. But the inside was, I, it was a, hey, it was going to be dark. We we're going to throw a party. You know, motherfuckers don't trip. Come on, man. These people are coming from Oakland. They're coming from straight hood. They're coming from fucking uh, Newports, St. Ives, and motherfucking, hey, 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 pimping and pandering. So you already know it's all good. They're just ready to party. So anyways, we're going to have a barbecue in the front. 
a little chicken, you know what I'm saying, for the guests. And everything was going to go down. Asada and chicken, you know you're in trouble, right? It's like a fucking Dr. Dre song. So everything was going good. My homeboy pulls up, a couple of the homies from the hood that I still can trust because at this time, I was my dropout activities were like to the highest degree. So these were homeboys that I could I had to watch, but not that close. They were all right. You know what I mean? I didn't bring any of the high power homies because they would have came with a tarp and fucking a shovel. Like, hey, what's up, bro? Right? I'd have been like, oh, shit, what's that for? <laughs> You'll find out. Right? Now, fuck that. So my primo's on his what oppin', right? He's like, what been primo? Hey, are these guys, is there going to be salsa or something? Because I don't like that. Right? I'm like, no, nah, there's going to be Africanos. We don't, let me call the homies if we're at war with them. Because if we aren't getting off where I'm at, I'm like, nah, calm down. It ain't that serious, bro. This ain't fucking prison. Politics don't matter. Yeah, I still ain't eating after him. I still ain't eating after him. <laughs> he's tripping. So anyways, my boy comes through. And he's an Africano, but he's a Northanial, right? So he comes through like, hey, what's up, homies? Wap in, homies. I'm like, hey, what's up, bro? He's like, yeah, my primos and, and, and all the homies and shit are coming. This word's gonna, it's gonna get tricky dance moves right now. Briss, right? It's gonna be real well, guy. So, all kinds of cars start pulling up, clean ass 5.0s, I rocks. You know how brothers do it, man. Cadillac, they're Cadillac after Cadillac. They got Cadillacs, even Cadillacs piggyback rides. So, they pull up, and I know I recognize a couple of the dudes that I met at Mount Mike's Pizza, but the rest I don't really, I mean, they done brought the whole gaggle of fuck. They done brought fucking all of East Oakland. You know what I'm saying? They brought the whole dirty 30s with them, right? So, I'm like, oh shit. They brought Jingle Town. I see some dudes from the Fruit Ridge area. They, they brought a lot of fucking, uh, or Fruit Vale, excuse me, Fruit Ridge. I took it a sack real quick and I'm back. Um, They brought a lot of people. So anyways, hey, we're out there kicking in. Hey, let's get this party started. My primo's like, you feel the dance? Don't need no hate or Well, y'all, holler. And now look, there's this chick. She got off a of caddy. <laughs> My primo went into straight north. Then you're Mac Daddy, right? To, th to this point in time, I had never seen my primo lust after an African-American woman. But I ain't gonna lie. Her shit looked like Duncan Hines, right? Her shit was Betty Crocked Up. Her shit was Aunt Jemima, a mix of Aunt Jemima, Oprah, and uh, uh, Wendy Williams before she fucking got the funny eyes, right? She looked she looked like a, a mix between Jaguar, right, and Beyonce. Mm -hmm. Illuminati, right? So she was really there. I was like, damn... Shorty got more kinks than Duncan Hines. She got off and my primo was enraptured. Sheila was already on black meat, if you understand what I'm saying. She was already over there politicking with the brothers. Ooh, I like the way your chest feels. She's already sitting down in my primo. At first, he was all frustrated. It's an optical illusion. She, she's not going to cheat on me. I was like, bro, look at the stretch mark that she has from there to there. She done already went to the bathroom four times, and I see the brothers all coming out alive. I like Mexicans. Right? And they... Whatever they're doing, they're doing. I'm not paying attention. But at the same time, every time Sheila stands up, there's black dudes doing this. Right? And either they're doing that because they smell an aroma of star kiss or they're trying to look at that flat ass. I say door number two. Anyways, as she's on rotation, my primo's out there just looking at the black chick. So he slides up over Mongolian just on wing. -ling 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 -ling. And he's like, what been? Where are you from? Right? She was like, I'm from Oakland. He was like, Oakland, yo, kid. Hey, I got homies from Oakland. We was in Folsom together, right? Hell yeah, there was a homeboy there. It was so black. Right? I'm like, ah, oh, nah. Hey, my prima almost said them where he was like, what's up, my nigga? I, I could say that whopping. I'm active, right? I'm like, look, bro. You like that chick, huh? I was like, she's bad, bro. Smash that. He was like, I am. But you know what they say, primo? What? Once you go black, you don't ever go back. I said, well, shit. I wouldn't go back to Sheila. Look, she's going black and she's going back, back and forth, back and forth. Do you think, primo? My tia's out there shaking. I like Shaka Khan. Is this what you guys are bumping, Shaka Khan? There's a little paisa there like doing this. He's hopping around and shit. He's just trying to get in where he fits in, right? He's looking at all the Nalgonas because they brought a bunch of black chicks. And to what degree of BBL black chicks have, they don't need them. They're built right. They're built for tough. They're built Cadillac ready. Their shit just is sculpted into a sedan to build. Like when they sit down, it just falls right into a bucket seat. It's perfect. And there's a couple brothers over there. They're on their pimping and pandering shit. They're telling stories. Blunt smoke is everywhere. I'm high than a motherfucker just by contact smoke. I'm like, I'm just, I'm doing this. I'm doing the fat Joe. I'm leaning forward. I'm leaning back. I'm, you know what I mean? I'm so, everyone's all fucked up in this house and it's, it's nighttime now. Hey, chicken, ribs, everything is gone. Them brothers tore that shit up, right? I got, I think one taco of fucking uh, chicken juice. That was about it. That's all I got. I got. So anyways, my primo, he's on her. He's stalking her like Crouching Tiger hit in Northanial, right? And he's just fucking whopping, girl, you want to dance, right? And I ain't going to lie, I put on that Mary J. Blythe song. They're not going to cry? 
Because I because he was like, play a slow song, people. Play a slow song, because I can feel on her booty, right? I was like, all right. Hey. He was all there feeling on her booty. Hey. With all the time that I was loving you, you were busy loving yourself. She doesn't have a motherfucker doing the butterfly with three black dudes. I would start breathing nephew. My tears are like, I love Shaka Khan. Make her put on Rick James. Give it to me, baby. Give it to me, baby. <laughs> hey, so everyone, hey, I'm like, oh, how embarrassing. My homeboy's like, hey, bro, where did you bring us? I'm like, hey, bro, everyone's having a good time, though. It's cool, man. Just smoke your blunts and, and enjoy life, bro. This is black and brown. and united and shit. This is like Goto said, this nation over here. Only it's not this nation. It's Roach Nation. It is what it is. We're having a good time. So this chick, Muppet was over there filling on straight cakes, right? He's over there fucking... Uh, I knew you were not guaranteed uh, With love you take your chances yeah, i never seen that fool's Mongolian is just twirling myself Sometimes it was up, right? And he was like Hey, bring my weapon Hey, keep she occupied I said, oh, she's, she's fine She's very occupied He goes, we're going to go for a little ride Weapon, you want to go to? to, to. Well, remember, that, remember that last time We were doing like Key and Pill We were hula hooping on that one bit, right? And I said, nah and that black chick's like You can come too, baby And I was like, I thought about it I thought about it but then I remembered that my primo didn't shower. He just threw on sweats. So I was like, ah, it's going to stink in there. I'm cool, right? So they dipped. Hey, my primo came back, hickeyed up. This black chick towed his ass up. Once he went black, he might need a wheelchair. He fucking came back wheelchair. Oh, oh primo, it's so scared. She broke my shit in half. It really does look like a wig I burned down, right? Hey, this fool calls me. Hey, primo. Hey, I'm at a motel with this chick. Come through, come through. Hey, there's a couple chicks right there. Bring them. We're going to party in this motherfucker. I was like, hey, bro, was it good? He was like, this is the first time I've ever been. It was fantastic. So I'm scared her pussy sang to me like Alicia Keys. Yeah, she did that. Because I'm going down. I'm going down. Where go? I'm like, oh, no, this motherfucker's stupid. So look, he comes back to the spot, hickeyed up. Sheila immediately <sighs> lokes up. Where were you? He was like, hey, what been? What were you doing? She was like, I wasn't doing nothing. The whole time her, her shoulder's like moving. And we're all like right there by the door. And I'm kicking back with the homie. And we're just chopping it up. And I see him and Sheila. They're like lightweight arguing. And the fat chick, she's there. And she's looking mesmerized. She keeps looking at my primo's cock for some reason. I don't know what degree he's working with. But obviously, he, these chicks like him. So, I, I mean, I've never seen him up close and personal. He might be winning, right? I know I am. So anyways, she's mesmerized over here. And I'm hey, chopping it up with my boy. And he's trying to hook me up with this light-skinned chick looking like Laura London. Nipsey, rest in peace, right? I'm like over here like, ooh. You know what I'm saying? Now, I've been with Africanas. I ain't going to lie. It's like, yeah. Uh-huh. They're different, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, they are different. It's, it's, it's better. I'm just saying. But anyway, so I'm over here, you know, doing my thing. Um, just making sure that the time is right for me to spring into action. And my guess, she's still over there fucking... You got my fire, baby, and you show me with a love. Again, the feist is holding onto her leg. There's a black dude holding onto her thigh. My tia's in Loverland, right? She's really winning. Make a fuck face. This is the best party I've ever been to. I want to go here again. It's your house. I know, son of a bitch, right? So my primo and Sheila are arguing, right? And Sheila's already, she keeps looking at the fat girl. She was like, did you go, did you go kick it with her, right? And my primo's like, whopping. And again, Sheila's shoulder's moving, right? And the whole time she's moving, she's rubbing on a black dude's chora while she's talking to my primo. And I'm like, damn, this chick right here, she's the type that she can walk all fat and shit and chew bubble gum. She knows how to do two things at one time. How are you going to argue with your old man about him cheating? Meanwhile, you're rubbing on a fucking dude's chora all the way from his ankle bone to his thigh. She's doing this. And she's fucking arguing with my cousin. My primo's all fucking, shut the nothing, you lose your primo, don't trip, right? I'm not. That's on you. So anyways... My primo, after the party ends, fucking him and Sheila argue. She goes to the room all mad. Boom. A black dude jumps out the window. Everyone's happy. My homeboy is like, hey, that was tight, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it. His family's all cool. I got the light-skinned chick's number for hard times, right? And everybody left. And this fat chick did not want to leave. My primo, hey, was talking to her till like 2 in the morning out there. He's twirling his Mongolian. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look at what you see how it curls at the end like Drew Down. The pip of the year. da dun 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 da Well, uh, Max players, ballers, grinders, whopping. I'm the real true North Daniel of the year. <laughs> so the chick ends up leaving next day. I help clean up or whatever. She was still all mad. She takes off to her mom's. I'm going to go see our kids. He's like, your kid. Only one of was mine from what I heard. That was what my mom said. Bitch, stop lying to him. My dad's in the back. Mejo, I'm sore. I'm not going to get up today. So it's on you guys to make it. Make me a taco, mijo. Please. 
Please come on, fuck face. Do it for your tia. Do it because at this point in time, A, I couldn't get out of bed if I wanted to. Right? So she must have had an enjoyable night. But let me know. Paisa came out with his tongue hanging on. Que <laughs> He looked like he was drained. My tia was in there living vicariously through the Africanos. So whatever happened, happened. Um, so I told my primo, hey, what's up, boy? Hey, you were killing that shit? He was like, primo, that's the best I ever had. Well, God. Hey, she's bad. Boy, let's go kick it. Let's go to Oakland. I'm like, you don't want to slide to Oakland. I was like, hey, let me, hey, let me call my boy and see if that fucking light-skinned chick, if, if she's cool with that, because I don't know. So I call, the, um, I call my homeboy. I'm like, what's up with your prima, man, that light skin? He was like, get at her, fool. She gave you her number. So I call her. She's like, damn, I was waiting. You called me hella fast, right? I'm like, what's up? I'm trying to slide up to the bay. What's, what's good with it? She was like, shit, come through. I got my own place. I was like, hey, that big chick that was there, you know, the one with all the tattoos on her neck and shit? She was like, oh, the one that went, left with your cousin? She told his ass up. She said, yeah, that's my homegirl, Melanie. I said, well, man, I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to be melodramatic, but man, me and my prima are trying to slide up there, and I'm trying to make harmony and melodies together. So let's get R&B group. The new, we're the new Jodeci. You know what I mean? Only one of us is stupid, and the other one is just uh, is cute. That's me. And she was like, yeah, come through. We slid up to Oakland. Okay? Things change from the valley to the bay. That's how they operate, right? I don't know, but my whole time my prima was excited. Hey, prima, she sucked my whole... Primo, have you ever had your thighs sucked? She sucked my whole, she got my whole shit, and she was sucking on my thighs. Primo, I was like, for reals? He was like, look at, look at this shit. Bro. I'm like, oh, shit. Right, I'm got hickeys on his thighs. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, hey, fucking put your fucking sweats back up. He's still wearing the same outfit. He ain't changed. He was wearing that outfit the day before. He's still wearing it the day after. He'll skip day number three and go straight to door, day number four because that's how he does it. He's active. So anyways, we get up there to Oakland. Needless to say, my primo bounces with the chick, comes back with hickeys all down his spine, He's like, he's watching, primo, I'm there. Fuck, she I'm breaking over there as soon as I get back. This is my new old lady, right? Her name's Melanie. I said, I know what her name is. Hey, when I get a good look at her, this chick got fucking all kinds of shit caked on her gums. Hey, green shit. She looks like she been been through the ringer. I was like, how did she change from there to there? Well, what happened was she took her makeup off. Oh, wait, oh, wait, before you get clown. Oh, wait, right? Hey, I had a good time. We're not going to go into too much detail of what I did. Let's just say it was rather enjoyable. My primo got all sprung for like three or four months. That's all he talked about. And so I knew never, ever, ever to introduce him to a black chick again because he didn't know how to act. That motherfucker started, hey, put my shit in car roll. Put my shit in car roll, Sheila. She was like, you never liked this before. You fucking owe me a rodeo burger for this bitch. She was like, put my shit. Yeah, put my shit up. Put my shit in just one fucking spiral dookie roll. Fuck it, right? I was like, damn, bro. See, that's why the Southsiders say the homeboys try to act black. Look at what you're doing. He was like, I'm not trying to act black. I'm not trying to act black. Give me a ride to Popeyes. <laughs> I'm trying to have the number four. I'm like, damn, and that's just what it is. Anyways, with that being said, that was an adventure. My primo's first time ever with a black chick. He's been with another one. We'll talk about that. She was bad. Like I said, every once in a while, my primo will jump out of the box. Jack in the box. He'll jump out with something smooth. Like a jack in the box, he'll come through. I don't know how he does it. Like I said, he must be working with a masterpiece or a piece in his ass. Some Something, something's going on there. My tia, hey, she was she always talks about it too. Every time I call or we, we see each other, make home. Remember that one time we had that party with all the negros? Mm -hmm. I'll never forget. Uh-huh. And then she'll walk away like this. Uh-huh. With that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. Be ready. Part six coming tomorrow, man. Super North Anyone. Anyway, guess what? Can I get in she wants? I'm going to tell you his story. Are you guys ready? I know you are. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive, struggle, struggle, and strive for what I honestly and truly believe in. And that's the betterment of all people, man. Let's come together like butt cheeks. Oh, not you, Wes. It's too late for you. This is the gun. Bang, bang.